you. Hi guys. Today we're going to do a painting in this sketchbook. We're going to be using the Neo Colors and basically as many of the new art supplies that you've seen me unbox on my channel this year in 2023 as I possibly can. So I've got the black wing pencil. I have got my Lamy pen that is filled actually with the colour of the pen ink. I hadn't planned on that, but it's aubergine. Uh, Roy Royho and Klinger ink. I have got a stepler eraser, which is old. And I have got the Platinum Preppy, which is full of water-based black ink with a bit of the aubergine. Um, permanent ink. We then have the Art Graph Magenta. We have a homemade or handmade watercolour paint. This is Marron, my favourite one. And we have the Neo Colours. I haven't purchased the extra four colours, but we've got the 15 plus 10 extras. Well, possibly 11 actually, 11 extras. Um, I'm holding off at the minute because things fit nicely in this tin uh, without me getting the extra four, which the extra four colors are like different tones of green and maybe like a pale yellow. It's, they're nothing major. I have majority of the colors here. So we're going to pre-sketch very, very lightly with this. You don't have to press hard at all. I thought we'll do a vase of flowers. And this is all in real time. So you can follow along or leave me playing in the background while you are playing in your sketchbooks or painting or cooking. <laughs> Whatever. The more I use the black wing pencil, the more I do like it. It's very convenient to have this shape eraser and quite a generous eraser. And I just feel it draws, it helps me to draw better. <laughs> and then I like to go over with my ink. Now, if we go in with some watercolour, as I forgot to say, I'm also using my new uh, Aqua Elite paintbrush by Princeton in a size 8 round. I've got two jars of water on my desk, a clean and a dirty. And let's decide on the colours. We're probably going to do a purple vase. So you literally just use the Neo Color twos because they're water based, water soluble. You just use them as you would a standard wax crayon. There are three methods that you can use for these Neo Color 2s. This is method one. And wet the brush and go straight in. And I kind of do circular motions just to really get into that pigment. But you don't have to scrub at it.
Method two with the Neo Colors is to dampen your brush and stroke it directly onto the crayon to pick up the colour. And method three is scribble it onto a surface. Now I don't know what you can see here. Hopefully you can see. I have a non-slip mat. And or what I'm gonna do actually, the lid of my water jars here, I will just scribble into it because it's a wax crayon you can see just scribble some pigment in there and we will wet the brush quite well actually and just got some watercolor in there you know are just random made up flowers. I hardly ever do realism. I just do what I like as and when. You have to go with the flow when inspiration strikes. Okay, so while that is drying, I will get this other green, wet the brush again and go directly in with it, and start adding in some little extra bits. And we're not looking for perfection. Just keeping it loose, keeping it pale. And then while that's drying, I'm going to start adding in the tablecloth kind of things that I've been liking to add lately in since I've started using this Harmony sketchbook.
you do notice a big difference using a normal brush compared to a water brush a brush that you put that has a reservoir to fill up I mean I know I was always taught they're never that good but I was really hoping by now <laughs> that they would be because they're ever so much more convenient and um, just definitely more convenient because with normal paintbrushes you do have to have pops of water about all over the place and sometimes it's not always that convenient because they do take up more space and I'm very limited for space <laughs> and you've got to set it up you know whereas with a water brush you just take the cap off as long as you've remembered to fill it <laughs> and you're ready to go and it can go in your bag you know your your pencil case your pouch whatever whereas this paintbrush and regular paintbrushes quite often are too long to fit into a pencil case so then you've got to have separate storage for it like a brush case that is just for paintbrushes but thankfully I've been able to make it fit upside down but it came with a cap protective cap so I can fit it into my uh, London 17 uh, backpack quite easily in the many pockets that it has Okay, now just thinking off the top of my head, I might start just having a few vines, so just picking up some of this olivey green that we use for the stems. And where will I have it connect to? Probably have it here. I like adding vines lately, <laughs> it seems to connect everything up. And then we're going to go, maybe actually, first of all, we're going to use the art graph. And I'm just literally, because you might not see this on camera, going directly on top of the block with my wet brush. I'm just going to start going in. And it is a lovely, opaque, vibrant magenta.
Okay. Now, I think maybe I'll pick up some of my brown. And it's a really intense, you really don't need much. And just put it in for the middle of the flowers. I'm really pleased I've learnt to make my own watercolour paints. Even if I don't sell them, I've kind of not given up on my Etsy shop, but it's such a lot of work to do and making the paint does take a lot of time. But I'm kind of at the moment just making it for myself. So that I can still enjoy and have time to do my painting. But I'm doing, concentrating on YouTube and Redbubble for my um, art income and Amazon affiliates, which is why it helps me out when you guys watch my videos fully and give me the thumbs up and share them. It lets YouTube know that the content I am making is helpful to you and enjoyable. around with the art graph it's kind of remind me of Hawaiian flowers go in with another layer of the purple and yes you can build up the colors you just have to really make sure that it's dry fully before going to reapply another layer
And I'm thinking I might add a dash of yellow. I do like doing that, just for the background. I just scribble it in. Just in different places, because when you add the water, you can spread it out. Okay, I'm going to wet the brush so it's really quite wet. And I think the yellow just is a nice background and goes well with the pinks. I didn't want the whole background to be yellow, by the way. Otherwise, I could have done that before. I just like to have bits of white and the yellow come through. And then with the bits of loopity loop vines, I will just fill them in with this bright green, as if they're leaves or something. I do like that you can, well, basically how versatile these crayons are and vibrant and light fast and just professional and economical. Okay guys, and now I'm going to use my Platinum Preppy because it's a thinner nib and I'm actually going to outline the stems of the flowers. Sometimes because it's quite thin, I have to get it going again. The, uh, the nib thing. because um, I made it go over gouache earlier and actually gouache can kill quite a lot of pens. I mean, it's dry when you do it, but it's just that um, for some reason, even, you know, dry gouache and even the Posca pens have some kind of residue that can block um, thin nibbed pens. That's what I found anyway.
and that is where I'm gonna leave it guys so I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'm gonna catch you really soon